Hey humans, what's up? I'm Brianne Williamson, and today we are back for another episode of I Heard She's a Lesbian. She's the one I'm thinking of. Hey, the only one I'm thinking of. Hey, she's everything I'm dreaming about. Hey, the one that I can live without. Mm. It's been a minute. I'm gonna spare you the whole pitch of why I've been gone and how I'm doing things behind the scenes because I know every YouTuber says that, blah, blah, we don't care. You want the content. I'm here to give you the content today. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on. Double check if you think you've already done it because a lot of people are saying they think they've been subscribed for ages and then either YouTube unsubscribed them or they were never subscribed. If you're not already, go follow me on Instagram. I post so much content over on Instagram and I have a $500 cash giveaway coming your way next week. Only one more pitch I promise and that's to follow me on TikTok Yes, I bit the bullet and I'm joined the TikTok lesbians. We'll see how it goes. I'm working on my lip biting and my tongue sticking outing. Yeah, it's, we'll see, we'll see. So this is I think my sixth episode of I Heard She's a Lesbian and I'll link the rest of the videos um, down below. But basically this is a series, if you're new here, where we talk about LGBTQ plus topics, specifically how they relate to um, my personal experiences as a lesbian woman. Today we have the sixth, seventh, fifth, who knows, episode of I Heard She's a Lesbian. And today we are talking about why lesbian is not a dirty word. That's right. I said it, a little controversial, especially over here on YouTube, but lesbian is not a dirty word. Lesbian, 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 lesbian. Not dirty, there's nothing dirty about it. In fact, it is a beautiful, strong, powerful, and fearless word, and one that I have grown to love. So when I was younger, I hated the word lesbian. My first experiences hearing the word lesbian were in a derogatory sense. So basically, people in my high school or even elementary school used the word to make fun of someone or call someone out in a similar way that they would call out someone for being gay or use gay as a slur. Obviously, when you spend the majority of your adolescence hearing the word lesbian only used in a conversation with a negative connotation, that word takes on that meaning. And that's all words really are, right? They're just a bunch of letters strung together and then we give them meaning. And depending on who you talk to, that meaning can be very different, especially with LGBTQ plus labels and especially in the world that we live in today. Now I'm sure a lot of these kids did not know that I was a lesbian, but they loved to call me a lesbian. <laughs> I guess they were on to something, but they were not saying it in a nice way or in a way that they were trying to get to know me better or a way that they were trying to support me. They always said it to me and to others with the hopes of embarrassing them, to bring shame on them, to put them down or to make fun of them. Because of this, whenever I was called a lesbian, I denied, 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 passionately denied that I was in fact not a lesbian. Because when someone's calling you something as an insult, your core instinct is to defend yourself against that insult. So the easiest way for me to defend the insult of being a lesbian was to say that in fact I was not one. As I grew up and became more and more familiar with my sexuality, I realized that I definitely did like women. And that was a hard realization and I had a lot of internalized homophobia because of the way I had seen the LGBTQ plus community referenced in the past. And just the simple fact that we live in such a heteronormative society. It was a really, really hard for me to come to terms with the fact that I was kind of going against the grain. And even when I did come to terms with this, I was still not ready to adopt the lesbian label. Now, let me stop there. You do not ever have to adopt any label. If you do not feel comfortable with any label under the spectrum of LGBTQ and beyond, you can just be you. And we've talked about that on my channel before um, and I want to make sure I'm clear on that. However, 
I was searching for a label for the ease of being able to describe myself. And if a label makes you feel powerful or if it helps you in some way, then I think that's great. And I was really searching for that. For me, the label that I ended up deciding on was bisexual. And we can discuss that further in another I Heard She's a Lesbian episode. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to talk about why I identified as bisexual before identifying as lesbian. Put it shortly, I knew deep down that I identified strongly with what the word lesbian meant to me, but I did not like in a lot of ways what the word meant to other people. Lesbians are beyond used to seeing their identity sexualized. That's nothing new. I mean, you can just Google the top search porn terms around the world and lesbian is always in the top three. As a woman identifying as a lesbian opposed to a woman identifying as a gay woman or a bisexual woman, I noticed that I was far more often asked to prove my sexuality in the form of displaying it in a sexual way. For example, at bars, guys asking me to make out with my girlfriend. That was just my personal experience. Then I came on YouTube, a space that was supposed to be safe where I had seen so many incredible lesbian women and LGBTQ plus individuals providing content and being themselves. And I felt empowered by this. And I was like, you know what? I wanna get on this platform and I want to be a strong lesbian and provide strong lesbian empowering content. And then I got demonetized. Whenever I put lesbian in the title of a YouTube video, it gets demonetized. And my internalized homophobia jumps out. If I put gay in the title of my YouTube video, not demonetized. If I put LGBTQ in the title of my YouTube video, not demonetized. So when you start your life as an adolescent being called a lesbian to make fun of you or embarrass you, and then you continue in your life to being asked by heterosexual males at bars to do sexual acts to prove your sexuality as a lesbian, and then you come on line as an adult and you're trying to provide educational content with the term lesbian and it's demonetized, you can see why lesbian starts to feel like a dirty word. So I'm here today to tell you that lesbian is not a dirty word. In fact, it is a beautiful, powerful, and fearless word. It is a word used by so many human beings that have gone up against stereotype and sexualization and violence to simply be who they are. And I think that's pretty badass. So hey, I'm Brianne Williamson, I'm a lesbian, and I'm proud of it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more I Heard She's a Lesbian episodes and check out the rest of this series in the description down below. Comment, let me know what you wanna see on this series. Do you have questions you wanna answer? Do you need advice? I wanna hear it all. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Follow me over on Instagram at Brianne Williamson and we'll see you next time, humans. Bye. She's the one.